Being diagnosed with osteoporosis or osteopenia is confronting. However, your bone density score isn't a life sentence. It's a starting line. So let's break down what those numbers mean so you can turn the results into a powerful plan of action. Hey, it's Mitch and Ollie from B-Mobile. And as physios who work exclusively with adults 55 plus, a lot of our community members come to us with their bone density scores, feeling unsure and worried about what it all means. So in this video, we're gonna help you understand exactly what a bone scan is, what your T-score actually means, and we're gonna show you that a diagnosis of osteoporosis or osteopenia is simply the first step on your journey towards improving your bone mineral density. There are lots of different risk factors that may have led your doctor to send you for a DEXA scan. Things like a family history of osteoporosis, maybe a previous low trauma fracture, or long-term corticosteroid medication use, just to name a few. Now, DEXA stands for, bear with me, dual energy X-ray absorbed geometry. It's a gold standard test and uses low dose X-ray to precisely measure the mineral contents of your bone, usually at the hips and spine. The best part is, is that it's quick, painless, and gives a really clear picture of your current bone health. But the scan itself is just the beginning. The real confusion can start when you get the results and you see that mysterious T-score. So what does that number actually mean? If you've had a scan, you've probably got a report that looks like this. The crucial number on that report is your T-score. Your T-score compares your bone density to the bone density of an average healthy 30-year-old of the same sex. Why 30? Well, that's because that's roughly when our bone density is at its peak. Your T-score is measured in something called standard deviations which is simply a measure of how far away are you from the average healthy 30-year-old bone density. So let's look at what the numbers mean for you. A normal bone density is indicated by a T-score of minus one or higher. Osteopenia is a T-score between minus one and minus 2.5. And osteoporosis is a T-score of minus 2.5 or lower. Now, the different levels of bone mass relate to differing levels of fracture risk. In fact, the risk for a bone fracture roughly doubles with every standard deviation point that your T-score drops below normal. But what do you do with that information? Does a diagnosis of osteoporosis or osteopenia mean that you've got to wrap yourself in cotton wool for the rest of your life? Absolutely not. And that's where our mindset really needs to shift. If you have been told you've got low bone density, please don't despair. View it as an indication that now is the time to act. It's an opportunity to make some positive changes to prevent future health problems. And by watching this video, you are taking action in understanding how to build stronger bones. But how do you ensure that number on the page doesn't define your future? Well, it comes down to understanding one final crucial concept. Now, it's important to remember that your T-score is not a prediction. It doesn't seal your fate. Now, your actions, the exercise you do, the lifestyle you lead, that is what's going to determine your bone health from this day forward. Now you understand your T-score, what do you do next? The next step is to go to the video on screen where we're going to show you four at-home exercises that you can do to improve your bone mineral density. So head there right now.